Welcome back to Take Two, 809. Being a pet mom or pet dad is very rewarding, but does have its challenges, especially for new pet owners. From barking to dealing with the weather, it can be difficult to understand what your furry family member is thinking. To break down some of the most common concerns, we're joined once again by animal behaviorist Wendy Ma in today's Pet Posse segment. Good morning. Welcome back. Good morning. Good Thank to you. see you. Gosh, it feels like forever. Um, we have a list of questions here from, from viewers if, who wants to give us uh, the first question. Let's get to it. My puppy does not bark to let me know he needs to go potty. How can I teach him how to bark to let me know? That's, actually, a, that's a tough one. Well, yeah, but I actually don't encourage people to teach their dogs to bark to let them know they want to go out because they actually, the dogs, will start to learn to manipulate mm -hmm. and they will they can start barking at 2 in the morning. So in the beginning, they really will bark because right. they have to go potty. And then they go, oh, I'm, I'm getting attention. lonesome yeah. at 2 in the morning. And they bark and so then you start bothering not only the family but the neighbors. So if people really need auditory cues, they could maybe teach the dog to ring a bell. Huh? You know, put a little stand and a bell mm -hmm. and teach them to nose it or paw it and when, every time they do take them out and they'll start and they'll to make the that. association uh, yeah even a puppy can even learn a puppy. that oh, oh, okay yeah, yeah, yeah. okay okay and we have brody here so I, i'm wondering how brody does <laughs> <laughs> he's, so, he's so happy uh one more question i want to get to my dog is okay with some visitors coming into our home but will bark and lunge at others how can i get her to stop barking and lunging at people coming into the house good one well it sounds like uh, from the question, the dog is people friendly to mm -hmm. a degree. It could be that the commotion, the energy when people enter the house, <gasps> hi, right, right, how are you right. doing? Gets the dog all worked up. So if they can maybe teach the dog to go to a spot away from the door, but they can see all what's going on, sit and stay while the people come in, then they're not right under all that commotion and it gives that dog a chance to get used to that new person in their environment and when the dog's calm and relaxed then, then, then yes very smart and they can feel the energy of a guest right yes for sure not everybody's dog yeah. friendly right. you know some are afraid and the dog will pick we'll up pick on that, that. Yeah, right. yeah 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 okay next question my dog did not like all the thunder we had recently what can i do to help her not be so upset next time um I, instead of waiting for our next thunderstorm and then trying to figure it out, I would start working now. They've got CDs, we've got YouTube. They should start to play the mm. thunder sounds in the background very, very, very softly. And then maybe have some uh, very calm, soothing, regular music on so that's louder. And over the days and the weeks, the thunderstorm noises get louder and the soft, calming music get softer wean, wean, wean them off of that right that's the best we can do we we can't do anything about tricking the dog into the bare metric pressures and things like that but you have thunder shirt as well and my newie we went god bless her she we lost her recently uh, oh. a while ago but the thunder shirt works yes for many dogs the thunder shirt really makes them feel um secure some dogs it doesn't really you know mm -hmm. affect them but then no harm no foul but if it helps your dog oh my goodness so, so soothing for soothing them. Soothing for them, mm -hmm. yes, nice point. On to the next question. My puppy is five months old. I have had him in the house since I got him at eight weeks old. I'd like him to be an outside dog. Is he old enough to go outside full time? He's, he is old enough to go outside. But for me, the quite more important issue is, is this the right time for him to go outside? Mm -hmm. He's five months old. He's entering adolescence, which is a real difficult time. And when you put a dog outside, you, you know, there's not all that supervision. So he can start barking at all kinds of things. He can start chewing up the side of your house, digging up your plants and your yard. I'd say keep him inside. Take him outside when you're home and teach him the house rule, mm. the yard rules. They can get bored out there. They, they can really get can. bored and they'll make, <laughs> make stuff up. They can wreak <laughs> havoc. Right, and then uh, I know you have an event coming up that's perfect for pet owners. Tell us a little yes. about Yes. Um, in May, on Mother's Day weekend, May 12th and 13th, HVMA, the Hawaii Veterinary Medical Association, uh, puts on the Hawaii Pet Expo every year and it's from 10 to 4. It's a free event um, if you would like. They do accept donations for the Hawaii Food Bank. Um, they have uh, things for everybody. Dog owners, cat owners, birds, 
bunnies, fish. They have live demonstrations going on each day. And on Sunday afternoon, they have uh, a puppy fun match. So for people who have puppies under a year old who were thinking about Mm, maybe I want to try this my hand at showing. This is a wonderful way to Learn. yeah. Oh, very yeah. cool, very cool. That's again May twelfth and thirteenth. Twelfth and thirteenth. Brody and I will be at the Brody's, terrier booth. Brody's a guy, Brody. See, you don't want to do that. You don't want to overexcite <laughs> them. Then you're that guy. You can visit <laughs> your house and you go, oh my gosh, that's that's not what we want. All right, thank you very much, Show Good to see you. Good to see you, you too, Brody. Good to see you, puppy. All right, we're gonna break down the stories you need to know about today. That's next on take two.